drugs. This is standard drug they give you to pull your wisdom teeth. You're not out. You're not under. You're there. You can talk, but you don't know what planet you're on. And most people, you can tell them to do anything you want when they're on. You'll jump off that cliff. Stick your hand in this garbage disposal. And so when you've got 20% of the public on a similar class of psychotropics that put you in a trance, dreamlike state, people are highly suggestible, and then television itself becomes a mass mind control machine. You've all heard of suspended disbelief. You walk in, you see your kids watching television, their eyes are wide open, their mouths are wide open, drool is dripping, we've all seen that. You walk into a movie theater a little bit late, people are already in suspended disbelief, or you get up to the bathroom, you come back in, and everybody is just staring like zombies. When I was a youth, television was like that for me. It's never like that. It's always cerebral. It's always analysis. It can be fun. It can be interesting to see the propaganda, the messages. But I never suspend disbelief. Never. And quite frankly, it's torturous. I uh, look at people that get to live in La La Land, the Matrix, and I, I actually envy you at some levels. Because my brain's always on. Unless I'm at the beach with the rhythmic waves, the natural systems that God gave us to become entranced by nature. A babbling brook just right, the ocean, the seagulls, two or three beers. I can sit back and just watch the people, the folks surfing, and just trance out, and two hours goes by. And I feel like a giant weight is off my shoulders if I can just trance out a few times a year. It's why I need to go to the beach more. It's the only place I can go into a trance. And it's why people go and they meditate at the beach. Or they meditate by a babbling brook. Because that's a natural thing we're supposed to do sometimes, is go to the quiet place the most high that King David wrote about. The problem is the globalists put us into an artificial quiet place of the most high and then hit us with zombies tearing people apart. All the social messages, all the demonization of the family, all the murder, all the death. Every major movie I see about cops now is about the cops with total surveillance grids to track everything they're doing in lifetime, which is true. It's illegal. The average cop is, doesn't have access to it yet, but it's being phased in and handed out or all being acclimated. And when you go see something like Fast and Furious, the latest one, or any of this, it's just pure propaganda. Never seen a Fast and Furious, but I like Kurt Russell. So I went to see it, and it was just terrible. Total false reality, cars driving down five miles of cliffs and not blowing your tires. Just the most ridiculous, mindless garbage. A giant recruiting movie for the FBI, Homeland Security, and the CIA. With this Eye of God software, where they can track everything in real time with this system. Just, 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 just utter comic book garbage. Gave me such a headache that I had to get out of it towards the end. I just could not watch the full-on assault on reality. So it's natural and it's normal to want to get into a relaxed place. But that's not what's happening when you go into a trance, when you go into dream state, when you go to the edge of not being conscious watching television or TV. You are now defenseless having your subconscious savage viciously. Well, everybody gives their kids smartphones. Well, everybody lets their kids watch two, three hours of TV. And look, I get want to turn the TV on and, and you know go in the bedroom and watch television with your wife or your girlfriend or your husband and want to you know, do something else, want to have dinner in bed. But your children are being murdered psychologically while they're, I mean, they're watching some old movie, that's fine. If they're, you know, seeing something, that, that's different. But when they're in there watching a the modern culture that's designed to destroy attention spans, when they're in there engrossed in that, they are losing their consciousness. And that's a fact. You can look up screen time brain damaging children. 
every major scientist that looks at it is conclusive. You can look at video games destroying gray matter in the brain. And people say, don't talk about my video games. You say what you want, you leave below. Hey, I'm not attacking your video games. You go ahead and do it if you want. I'm telling you, it's designed with the further rate and the software and all of it to suck you in. It is a weapon system, as Edward Bernays said. It's a fact. And it's destroying your potential. Now, I didn't mean to get up on this whole talk about mind control. We have huge news across the board. Don't open the phones up. It's just to understand why we're in so much trouble. You need to understand the average adult watches four hours of TV and about two hours and three hours of screen time. That's four, five, six, seven hours. Youth now are getting an average of six hours of TV or more, the numbers vary, and about three, four hours of screen time. We're talking about over eight, nine hours. This is devastating. And the real world, reading, people watching, listening to music, hiking, driving your car, all of that will build your brain up Joining a MMA class, joining a boxing class, joining a bicycle club. That's what humans do. Barbecue on your neighbors. Remember what Steve Jobs said a couple years before he died? They said, so, your iPads come out. One of your young kids, you know, like to play. He said, I don't even let them ha ever have it. They can't touch one. They're not allowed to watch television. It's a very controlled situation. It will destroy you. Don't you understand? They have to metaphysically tell you and warn you before they do it to you. Now, coming up, stock market plunge today, as we predicted. Not hard to point out that they can't prop it up forever. The Chinese have signaled they're not going to prop theirs up anymore. And that's why we could be getting ready to go on the way down. We've got huge ISIS news. We've got huge Ebola news. Huge election news. Gun news. That's disgusting. What's the smell? Roll down your window before it pops out. It's so nasty. Space oil pills I've been taking. 